Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 25 of Expert Skyblock with Soren. Me and Soren are having a disagreement. <laughs> I'll admit, I might have left this on and it might have overflowed greatly, which I kind of foresaw after I ended my cast, like, eh, it'll be fine. I was clearly wrong in that fact. Yes, so Soren redid my system. So let me see if I, because it took me a minute to figure it out, right? So clearly, right, we've got pulverizers here. Stone goes in from our barrel. You're doing active supplier module 32. So it's keeping 32 stone in each of these at all times. Um, and then obviously dumping out to some oak drawers, which we have tons of gravel and sand and some dust. And then your active supplier moduling over here, I presume, uh, the appropriate amount of gravel, sand, and stuff. Um, didn't want to hit that. Wanted to hit that. And uh, <laughs> that's cool. So you're keeping a stack inside each one of these sieves. You're also keeping the autonomous activators fed with Beef Wellington, which speeds them up. Which, by the way, that's one of the things I turned off. And then over here, your what exactly are you doing here? It's you're the exact same thing that you were doing all before. The little bits that are broken ores inside this omni buffer which exports above to the auto compressor which i assume combines them into sands and blocks yeah. right and then you have a um retrieval node here that's pulling out of both sides and basically this is a provider pipe and then you're supplying this with the things that need to get hammered and then yeah. you're supplying um all the way over there you didn't move it but the pulverizer and furnace over here right being supplied that was the dust that's going to be today. Okay. So basically, let me see if I get this straight. You took our system, which was working perfectly. And by the way, I had to come in and fix this because it was all kinds of broken. It um, wasn't all kinds of broken. It was just dumping items on because of these active suppliers. Over yes. trying to actively fill things when it was full. <laughs> I know how to fix that easily. I'll be back easily. in one second to explain everything that was wrong. So basically, Soren, you wanted to make the system faster. Yep. And it overflows. It's not fixing it. It's improving. Not. Okay. <laughs> so can I point something out to you? Can, can, can you can, can you come over here for a minute real quick? I don't know if I want to. I'd, I'd like you to just see something. So gonna... out of curiosity, how many blocks of redstone do we have? <laughs> what? <laughs> 30,000? 30,000? Almost 31,000? 30, 30,907 blocks of right. redstone. I feel like we don't need to increase the speed at which we're producing resources. I want 50,000. Well, patience is a virtue. I, I want to start voiding it. I, I understand. And oh. that's just redstone. You're looking at the thing that you get the most of. <laughs> I know. I know. There was <laughs> that's like the worst one to look at. <laughs> I mean, like, we still have like 1,700 blocks of gold. L look at emeralds. Look at emeralds. Oh, hi. What? <laughs> I mean, I understand, but we still have 116 blocks of them. Like, we're good. You know how fast I can go through that? Um, no. <laughs> you don't? I do not. Well, <laughs> I will say it pretty quick. Okay, well, I'll believe you. <laughs> uh huh, blood, mana pearl. So coagulated blood. I mean, I know how to get blood in there, sort of. I think if I stand in there, I'll get blood, right? There might need to be some melted stuff going on. I throw this in there. Will that melt quick enough? That might be good. Let's just make sure that these guys are disabled so nothing auto exports. Uh, it should stay in there. Um, I want to start a little bit of blood magic today. Okay. I noticed some of the things that I'm going to want to craft require some blood magic ingredients. So I'm yep. going to get started with an altar. All right. I will be right back first. Okay. Okay. Mana pearl. Let's watch. Ta-da! And away it goes. I just have fun with that. That's all.
Huzzah! And then that was on a casting table, right? Yes. So basically we pour a bucket's worth of blood into a casting table with this guy on it, and we should be cool. So did you get... Oh my goodness, you're taking a long time to melt down, aren't you? I know just hanging out in there by myself will generate a little bit of blood, in theory. Out of curiosity, speaking of health and taking damage and stuff like that, um... Oh. <laughs> he undercollected it. Oh, Zorin. Whatever will I do with you? Almost there. Come on, melt. Thank you. And you're not going anywhere, right? 18 mil buckets of seared stone. As long as there's liquid in there. There we go. Nice. So that's not a lot of millibuckets. That's a very small number of millibuckets. I need how much of this? A thousand, right? Okay, I'm back. Okay. I'm looking to make a thousand mil buckets of liquid blood. Ooh, I can make a thousand buckets. No, a thousand mil buckets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do we have any of these, by the way? We do. Cool. These guys have stuff in them. I put cows in there back when I first got cows just to make them safe. So what if I... Kind of would like to go into the mob spawner to get mobs. Yeah, we're not gonna have a good time with this. Maybe I can be quick enough. I'm thinking no. So I could try dropping. These guys in. Will that produce? No. No. That was quick. How much did I get for that? 135. Not terrible. That'll be quicker than doing a player based. Do you want to do me a favor, Soren? Sure. Can you feed our cows? Okay, yeah. Oh, I see. You hit it on the ground. All right. Well, while you're at it, do I go? Well, maybe like half a stack of wheat. I think would be good. Okay. I'm going to need a bit more blood. So how about I come back in a minute, guys? Once I've got that. All right, guys, we're back. Before I forget, I'm gonna close up the mob trap here. I grabbed the safari net to make this easier. It went a lot quicker when I put hostile mobs in there. Yay, sacrificial orb. You have quite a bit of arrows in you. Well, to be fair. Skeletons. <laughs> Spinny skeletons, in fact, my gosh. <laughs> um, so I noticed you did a bunch of things over here that are different. Yeah, while the endermen were turned off, we weren't getting any more essence, so I just went ahead and hooked up the experience. Okay, do you mind if I place the blood altar in place of the diamond spike? Uh, go ahead. Can you turn on the lights in there for me real quick? Where's the light switch? I never got around to actually hook up wires for those, so one more. <laughs> so you set up There's lights, lights everywhere, but you didn't put wires in? <laughs> <laughs> nope, because we got distracted with something else. <laughs> That's you probably told me to come, hey, look at this, and I came and looked at it, and then we got to check for something. So, There's empty wire connectors. But yeah, definitely the new version of Logistics Pipes is, is causing a little bit of a crash when you craft things. Sometimes. Yeah. 
So I noticed that, what is going on here? The grinder's out of power. Yeah, it hasn't been used either. Um, so I guess it's not hooked up to power. Um, no, that's hooked can up to we power. Well, I guess we can leave the experience obelisk here. So this I need a tier 2 altar for. Okay. Just checking to see what things have changed. So I need an Arthana, which I have the things to make. Awesome. So that shouldn't be too bad. Let's move this. Well, I'm going to leave the grinder there because I want to I wanna have an on-off for auto-killing things. So I might want to rearrange some of the stuff here. Let me come back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so what I'm thinking here then is... Basically, uh, we've got this stuff. I'm gonna put my experience obelisk here. Put all that experience back in. I wouldn't want to die with that on me. Uh, and that's cool. How right. were you making red alloy initially? Uh, I don't know. Somehow, probably one of the smelter recipes. Okay. Either alloy smeltery or induction. Uh, why? It's forever crafting. I'm trying to figure out which block it is. And it's not showing purple particles, so I was like, hmm. <laughs> it's not wanting to do anything. That's strange. Yeah. So the only thing I have to deal with then is we'd want item ducks. And then we're also going to need power. Nice. That's cool. I kind of like that, how it's like super instant. All right, so that should put that in. And then we need power to come in. So let's do something like... This was all connected, and then Soren decided to Soren it up. I'm gonna dire wire this like crazy because Soren broke it. Uh, what? 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 I didn't break it. It was. It was working. working. It's no longer working. What? You want essence back or what? There was no essence gain. I know, but I want the mob grinder set up. Why? We weren't getting anything from it. Uh, mostly because I want an on-off switch for whether or not mobs are killed instantly. Okay. Is that okay? It's not broken, though. We were still gaining stuff. <laughs> well, the diamond block being there is not an on-off switch. Right. Because right. we weren't setting up blood magic yet. It wasn't broken. It was just I changed. Know. Well, I had power going into this thing before. And you had no switch there. <laughs> you didn't have a switch. I did. No, it was still forever on! <laughs> so that will void things out. Cool. Okay. And this will speed it up. Nice. Okay, so that's our trash can, right? So any items that are killed... Alright, that's good. So now, let's do this. Um, do you have that dolly? For chance. Do what? Do you have a dolly? I do. Come on. Boop, boop. Can you move the chest that's on the floor there? Because it's preventing me from walking by. Ah, okay. Thank you, sir. So this should be relatively safe-ish. Thank you. All right. Um, we can have the lights off for now. 
Is Red Alley Wire crafting working? It looks like it might be one of the crafting stations. I'm trying to figure out which one. There okay. it is. Let's stay away from the mob farm for a minute so mobs can spawn. That one's just stuck at one. This Where's one here. the other one? There's multiple steps. That step's the only one that's it's waiting. Right. Um. So there is a thing now. Oh, here it is. What? It didn't get smelted. You know what? Hold on. Oh. That's weird. Not being pulled out of the. Is there some kind of filter on it? You got put in the wrong one. Why? This is redstone furnace. It is. That's not what I'm saying. Um, wrong chest. Oh, it went to the output chest instead of the input? Yeah, Maybe so I think I have it on the, the um, wrong satellite. satellite. Yeah, satellite. probably. All right, let's come back in a minute once there's some mobs here. All right, guys, we're back. We've got a large bunch of dudes there, so if I flip this lever... Uh, this thing should kick down, and in about 10 seconds, it'll start killing things. They Did you upgrade the furnace? Grade. What's up? I'm trying to figure out if you upgrade the furnace blocks themselves. Like, <laughs> Yes, I made the redstone furnaces the resident version. And okay. put the tier 4, or the tier 3 speed upgrade in the augmented. I noticed that because I put the input item in, like a stack of it, and they were all smelted immediately. I was like, what? Yeah, I sped up your furnace as well. I'm a nice guy like that. <laughs> yeah, I gave also, you Also, do you have prices. any idea how much glass is required for one of those solar panels that I made down here? A lot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you need it faster. <laughs> yeah. Did I... Have I recorded since I fixed your broke everything thing? I may not have mentioned this. Um, you didn't record any of it. Like, you, well, you've been playing because, off... because I logged in and like our entire base was out of power and we were out of Beef Wellington. There was a power block. There was it one. Doesn't... Yes, for us to play with when we got back. Fair enough. <laughs> so anyway, I knew the system was going to die on that one. <laughs> Soren changed a couple things while I was. Not <laughs> I changed a lot of things. First off, he changed our whole power system, and I logged in and had no power and no Beef Wellington. So no power and no way to generate power. And Beef uh, Wellington is made with power. So logistics yeah. place was offline, etc. So then, so what I did to fix that was the thing I've been saying I was going to do on camera for a while and never did get around to doing, which was make one of these guys that has any control 10% means emit redstone until it's up to 25%. Um, and then there's just a not gate here because we're controlling this. So basically, when you're emitting a redstone signal, stop preventing Beef Wellington from going into the culinary generators. So that's all it is. It's, it's very straightforward. So it, But because I wanted to use that stuff, I needed to use the capacitor from ender io and i needed to use the ender energy conduits um and then because we were like so far behind i went ahead and crafted some resonant solar panels which are actually not hard no um it just requires eight redstone solar panels which i taught the system how to make so you can go request a redstone solar panel and if you request eight of them it will make eight and then you can make a resonant solar panel um these things are actually really cheap um relatively you do need a lot of um steel and redstone and you need a lot of glass electrotine and iron nuggets um real big important tip Lauren. if you come over here i want to show you this this is super important okay uh i used a crafting logistics pipe mark three for this particular yeah. one the reason for that is store it more what's that it stores more well, the crafting logistics pipe itself will store the overflow of items. So mm -hmm. it needs like 50 stacks of electroline, right? Oh, okay. And yeah. there's only room in there for like 18 <laughs> stacks, right? So what happens is it fills up this inventory and then the other electroline starts bouncing back and sometimes it doesn't have anywhere to go and it falls on the ground. It's like a terrible situation. Logistics pipes Mark three will say, I will store in the pipe itself the excess until there's room in the inventory for the crafting to occur. Mark two does nice. not do that. The other difference between Mark right. two, three, and one is the speed. They can craft like, I think it's like 16 at a time and 64 at a time. So I also upgraded our wood because I don't know if you noticed, but like whenever you crafted anything with wood, it was really slow. So I upgraded that somewhere with a Mark two, I think. Okay. Um, um, do you know what happens when we request eight? 
Solar. Red, redstone ones? Yeah, the, end, the one that you have lost. Um, you can do it if you want to see. I tried. Did you crash? <laughs> you told me infinite resources, and we are missing something very important. What are we missing? Electrotine. Really? Electrotine? Electrotine? Yes, electrotine. We have 920 of them. It still needs 618 after that. Well, to be fair, I just did make these, like, super recently, so. <laughs> right. And it's 7% drop from sand, so. Oh, goodness. I will allow your beef wellington thing to work on the sand. How's that? There. Now your sand is going faster. Hey. Is it working, by the way? Because it doesn't look like it's working. It only records it every once in a while. It does oh. green particles. You're, like, feeding it, in a sense. Doesn't need to always yeah. eat. Well, I mean, if we have to come up with another way to get Electrodine, we can. I did make five of those resonant solar panels, like, in the past day. So, yes, we've got relatively infinite, but <laughs> I just used a ton of the Electrodine. Yeah. Um, so this is working. This is good. Uh, one thing I want to do, I guess... So if I want to upgrade this thing, we're going to want to rearrange some stuff, but that we can do shortly. I'll probably swap this out with the Ender.io system. So that it's all one where the grinder is that should probably be a good idea um let's try out our sacrificial orb dude um i'm assuming yes there's stuff in there oh cool and items fell awesome okay so that's neat So we're gonna want to get smooth stone. I presume smooth stone, right? Um, so let's do rune. So blank runes are ooh, a waystone from witchery. Blank slate and any kind of shard. Okay, blank slates are arcane stone blocks in a blood altar. Good to know. Uh, I'm gonna want to auto craft arcane stone blocks at some point. One day. Yep. One day. Why'd you explode? Nothing. <laughs> Why do I have a lot of trouble believing you? <laughs> In this case, it's actually true. Okay, I heard an explosion. I know. Okay. Oh, that's right. Arcane stone blocks are... for living rock. Here, 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 here. So we're gonna want like 20 of those. Perfect timing. Ta da Nice. Okay. So we're gonna wanna consider how we can get some of this going. At some point we're gonna want this to be all kinds of automated. But that should start cooking now, right? So we're gonna want 18 of these? Am I right about that? No, 16, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, I can't remove that block. That's an important block. Oh, good, it worked. Cool. Okay. So let's come back in a minute. I'm gonna see. Do you know why it's not working? What's not working? <laughs> the activator? Why? You, you rotated it. No, I didn't. Oh, you know what? You must have rotated it because when I logged in today, it wasn't working at all. It was never working. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking you must have rotated it because I checked earlier today and there there wasn't even a full stack in there when I logged in. And I was like, why is there only eight in here? It wasn't okay. going. It wasn't oh. going in properly. I'm gonna watch the video because I don't remember doing that. I don't accept that I did it. I just don't remember when I did that. Yeah. All right, let me investigate regen options for this back, and we'll be back. I didn't do it, Soren. What's wrong with your mom? You totally did this. What have you done? Uh, you did it. No, I did not. My my video clearly shows that I just flew over here, and now I hear whoa, 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 whoa. 
I mean, I was there when it occurred, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was there, and something might have gone awry, but it clearly wasn't your fault. God. Okay. I mean, clearly. Um, so, explain to me what happened. I don't know, I was just standing there and all of a sudden things were gone. <laughs> so, did something explode? I'm guessing? Maybe it was one of those skeleton shot a creeper situations? Can you turn the lights Maybe. on? If the lights are still there, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, they should have only exploded down here. Um, I need to get the rest of the alloy. So one sec. I mean, do you have some levers that you can just do for a temporary? Yeah. Okay. Hold on a sec. Boop, boop. Lever. Might all fit in an iron chest. Three we'll fourths of it filled with light. Can't believe you did that. <laughs> What'd you do? Soren? No, don't even try to turn this on me. This time Soren, it's you, you buddy. <laughs> Hashtag blame Zorn. Uh huh. Hashtag I mean, dire derps. Facts are facts. And the fact and dire derps are also facts, so I mean. And. I had a diamond spike there, it was gaining XP, all happy, and you wanted to change things. That's true. I will admit, I changed things. <laughs> I didn't- I thought the half slab would work. No, no. They can still see you at times, the skeleton scan. It depends on how close you are. Gotcha. Yeah, I was close to it. Um, so what did you do to prevent skeletons from seeing you? I didn't let them see me at all. Like, there was no... Gotcha. Oh, Chris! There's light up there. There's light up here, but don't go up there! Get down there! <laughs> Running away. <laughs> light did not I mean, kill them, though. My armor and sword are pretty awesome. Creepers I would not be happy with just because of terrain destruction, but... <laughs> wow. Well. So what are we doing again here? Is this for the blood altar? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. There we go, all taken care of. Yeah, this was gonna be for the blood altar. Um, Things went awry. Things went a little awry. <laughs> Alright, so everything's off, so... What's that? Everything's off, so you should be safe, reasonably. Okay, let me fix, and then we will come back. Alright guys, we're back, and I'm making a new grinder. Eventually. Alright, I'm waiting for plastic sheets. Probably takes just a second. You would think. I'm gonna test out this new method and we'll see if it works. Um, and if it doesn't, that's fine. It's probably for the best that that blew up because I kind of wanted to rearrange things anyway. So, doesn't this look a little bit nicer? Um, now, if I put this this way, I think is the way I want it to face. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay, cool. So that might be safe-ish. We'll see. So that'll be the switch in the back to auto-kill anything that falls. Let's let a few things fall here. Alright, I'm testing this, Soren. Do it. Yep. Um, did you take all the torches off the roof up there? I think I did when I was doing... Yeah, one sec. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put them back down, is that alright? That's fine. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's back away for a second and wait for mobs to spawn. So I think this is working for me. Do you want to come up here and adjust this theory by standing next to these creepers and skeletons for a minute and see if you die? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I was trying to figure out what you're doing with and okay, I'm here. Good, right? Nothing. You can't see me. 
Uh huh. So I need to make a dagger of sacrifice, um, which should not be too hard to get. I just need to get a tier two blood altar. Uh, so in order to get that, I need some uh, blood runes. So a blood rune requiring a waystone, which is just oh, that's cool. Flint into a mana pool. So that's easy. That's really easy. Um, and then I need the blood orb, obviously, which uh, I should probably get one of those. I'm guessing probably still. I know the second. Cycles over to it. <laughs> One oh, day. Okay. Cool. Did you see the um, metal presser, by the way? Uh, the changes you made to it? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It looks good. For a minute, I was like, what the heck are you doing? And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I put three down. I was like, this kind of looks really cool. It kind of looks at the uh, Fortune Craft Evolve kind of vibe. Yeah. So the way it works is he has a crafting pipe underneath the diamond chest. And then this is a provider, and these actively request all the types of metal in exact increments, right? So basically, if you request 12 at a time, it'll put four, four, and four in, and then they'll all kind of go across, make their way here, get sucked in, and this is the output chest. Yeah, and there's a satellite, or not satellite, there's a uh, firewall pipe to prevent it from sending back to the main system until after it's crafted. Yeah, no, I like it. It's, it's very cool. Yeah, I definitely approve. I never did figure out um, how to regen. Regen? I'm checking my uh, usual suspects. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We can make now chapel. Why not? Uh, I could make a not chapel. Cool. Uh, I was thinking the the canyon thing, but not chapel. remember the name of it. Um, ooh, did we get orchids back? Ooh, we got orchids back. Nice. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is wrap up the episode here. Does Lunium have a recipe? Lunium? I, I was hoping that maybe... Because we had I an don't... update, so I was like, ooh, maybe... But... I don't think it will. No, no, no. All kinds of Because you get iridium, I think, easily from that one. Fallen Canade, isn't that the one that gives you rebounds? Yeah, that's bad. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's white at least. That's all I remember. <laughs> Alright, so for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Progress through Blood Magic, Batania, and Witchery, and Thongcraft a bit. And of course, lots of automation with all the things, right? Just like Alright, guys, take it easy.